Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Uh, today we're gonna just work on this this 3D engine or whatever you want to call it, basically. Um, just add a few functions and uh, and kind of make a very simple beginning of a camera, okay? So we're gonna start manipulating that instead of the actual object. Uh, but before we get started, please check out the description box as always. Uh, you've got a bunch of nice, useful links down there to different playlists. You got my support page you can follow me on, Twitter as well. Um, drop a like, subscribe if you can. That would be really nice. It's free and it really helps me out. So thank you for that. Uh, otherwise, just thanks for all the support in general. But let's just start, uh, start off by coming in here and seeing that we have a bunch of update input functions for mesh and for the, uh, the window itself. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and let me just look at all this because we can kind of do a bunch of stuff. We can kind of scale up, rotate it, and move and everything, but at least the meshes have these functionalities. Uh, let's just remove these functions right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to go into game.h and do the same thing. I'm just going to remove these. And I'm going to have one update function, update input function. It's going to be in here. So it's going to be called update input. And I'm just going to do enter like this uh, and create the definition in the CPP file as always. So it should be up here. So I'm just going to copy that down to, uh, to functions. So here we're going to have all our update and stuff like that. All right. And it's going to be perfect. Um, something I'm not going to do today is I'm not going to incorporate uh, key time and and delta time. These two things we're going to put in this this whole thing soon, uh, but just as we're working on camera. So uh, let's just get started with this at least. Now I have no way to move my mesh at the moment. But before I do that, I need to go into update uniforms. And I'll see, oh, I haven't done this here. I need to do this on these. I don't have to, but I should. Uh, near plane. This. I'm just going to add this to all of these just quickly. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Do that as well. Boom, boom. Okay, cool. That should be fine. I don't think I missed anything. The shaders, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do this view matrix equals GLM look at like that and I'm gonna say this cam position and then this cam position plus this cam front as always and then this world up okay so now we're gonna update the view matrix with this whole cam position because we're gonna be changing this when we're moving it right so we're gonna be changing this variable that means that we have to update its uniform we have to send the updated matrix to the to the shader right each time we update it so whenever I move it it should be updated and to do that I need to set it and then I need to send it in just like this so I'm just gonna copy paste that so I'm gonna send it to the shader core program set mat for F and then view matrix and I think its name is view matrix in here as well so I just did that view matrix and projection matrix being sent in and once I do that let's see that should be on its own actually uh, whoops where is it okay this should be on its own update view matrix camera kind of this is a beginning because uh, eventually we're gonna have a function or no a class called camera here and we're gonna put all that functionality into that camera class and we can make several cameras we can switch between them we can have them in different positions we can do a bunch of stuff so that's what we're gonna do and basically what a camera does I'm gonna have a more in-depth tutorial on this in a future video coming uh, but let me just tell you basically what it is it actually transforms everything around it it has its own little coordinate system and it just transforms every every um, point every vertex you know around itself so it kinda when it moves it moves everything else so when you're playing a game next time don't think that you're moving the camera you're actually just moving everything is just moving to the opposite direction of what you want 
the camera to move, right? So it's kind of, you're moving the world, you're not moving the camera. So that's how it works. It, it kind of multiplies itself with everything to move everything around, around the scene, right? That's kind of how it works. Uh, it has its own little perspective, whatever you want to call it. So there you go. We just update it and we send it in. Now, how do we update the camera positions and everything, all that stuff? So we're just going to get in here and we're going to say if um, GLW, um, let's see, get key. There we go. So this window and then GLF. W key W equals GLF W press. There we go. So we did that whole thing again. Uh, and then we're going to move the camera. So we're not moving the mesh this time. We're saying this cam position dot Z is plus equals. So we're moving outwards into the scene right plus equals 0 0.05 f so that's kind of a nice number before we get into all the all the stuff with uh, you know all the stuff with delta time and stuff so we're going to do that later so w s a n d so this is going to be minus and then we're going to do x as well and we're going to be moving a is going to be moving to the left so minus and x is going to be d is going to be moving it to the right so plus all right so x x z z we're going to do something for y as well so we can move the camera up and down don't worry this is a very 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 simple beginning to camera sooner or later um, we're going to get all the mouse movements in and everything like that so don't worry about that too much so if i run this i won't be able to quit the program because i don't have escape and we've got a little error here we're just going to fix that really quick um Let's see, there we go. Uh, output, where is it? Uh, oh, here we go, error list. There we go. Uh, too many arguments. Uh, oh yeah, we need to we need to remove this, we need to do this. Update input. Boom, so we just did that. Mm, we're cool. There was one more thing I had to do, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's just go back before we run it. Let's go in here and let's copy one of these and say escape and then this window. Oh, wait, GLF W window should close uh, this window boom okay so there we go that's kind of uh, camera and this is um, pro gram so kind of like that something like that let's see if we get any errors now I don't know why that was so hard for me to fix but uh, well okay so yeah there you go all right we're going the other way around but now at least we're moving the camera uh, wait W should be the other way, so this should be minus. Obviously, minus uh, is into the screen and plus is out. That's how it works. How could I forget that? Shame on me. But uh, but there you go. So there you go. Now the camera is moving, not the not the actual. Uh, yeah, you know what? Not the object itself. So there you go. Now we're moving it around. It's nice. It's all nice like this. It's a little buggy because OBS is running. Am I even recording right now? I think so. Yeah, I am. Okay, cool. So there you go. So that's how we're going to work with the camera. Let's add some stuff for um, for the Y. So the same thing here. We're going to do Y plus and Y minus. I think, wait, what is the order I'm usually doing here? Minus. Okay, so what are we going to do? So I'm thinking C and space. C is usually going down in a game and space is usually going up. Base. So going down minus space is going up and we have Y going. So if we run this again, I should be able to do that. Uh, yeah, going down, going up. See how the objects kind of morphing around this, this camera? Let's see if we can... Uh, can I? No, I have resizable on it. Okay, cool. But we can't rotate it yet, see? 
we can't really rotate it and we're gonna we're gonna fix that by manipulating the front angle or the front vector with different kind of angles and stuff so depending on where the mouse moves and how much the mouse moves we'll be able to rotate the camera but at least this is a good humble beginning for a camera and in the coming videos hopefully we'll make a camera class and, and add stuff to it I do want to make the delta time and the uh, key time thing first but but yeah we'll get to that eventually but for now this is fine thanks for sticking with me I hope this was this was cool at least it's some kind of camera thingy going on um, and then eventually we'll have a nice scene with a bunch of objects and stuff I hope you're looking forward to that so yeah just, uh, just think about that play around with all this have fun take care hope you guys and girls are working hard and feeling great all right please check out the description box a bunch of useful links follow me on Twitter my support page all that stuff like drop drop a like subscribe all that stuff if you can thanks so much take care i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye